anybody who's ever seen a recipe that says peeled tomatoes, sometimes they close the book. They don't want to do the recipe because they think it's hard, but it's really easy. Um, all you do is put the tomato into boiling water for about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how ripe the tomato is. And then you transfer it to cold water, and then the peel will come right off. Before you put it into that boiling water, you want to core it. Here's the core. Just take a little paring knife, make a little circle, pointing the knife towards the center, like a cone, around that core. And you can just pop the core right out. Now a chef will tell you also to score the tomato at the other end, because they'll peel the tomato from that end. But I never do this, but I'm doing it just to show you what they mean. That just helps with the peeling. So you want your water to be at a rolling boil. I have right next to my boiling water a bowl with ice water in it. Uh, and if you forget to make the ice water, just run some really cold water from your tap. You won't burn yourself with splashing water if you put the tomato onto your slotted spoon or your skimmer, which I'm using. You can put it in the water. If you've got four tomatoes, put them all in. Use a bigger pot, of course. Um, you don't have to do this one at a time. So I'm going to let that go 30 seconds. If the tomato is less ripe, and it has sort of lighter spots on it, and you can see that it's harder. Uh, sometimes they need up to a minute, but 30 seconds will be fine for this one. And if you want to make sure to get all the sides, if the water isn't that hot, just roll it around a little bit. And once that's been blanched for 30 seconds, sometimes you actually see, like right here, the skin coming off. That means it's ready. You don't want to cook it any longer than that because you'll start cooking the flesh of the tomato and you'll lose some. Okay, so transfer that right away to your cold water. And you just need to let it cool until you can handle it, which is really only a few seconds. Okay. And now you're going to see that the skins are just going to slip right off very very easy. Sometimes these little blemishes and hard spots in a tomato require your nail or a knife, but that's how easy it is. And there's your peeled tomato. So to seed the tomatoes, I cut them in half at the equator and I'm just going to squeeze it, but I'm going to put a strainer over the bowl because you may want to lose the seeds, but that juice is probably the tastiest part of the tomato. So you're going to let that go through the strainer, and whatever you're making with the tomato, you'll want to add that juice back in. And then you are going to dice the tomato the same way you did it, unskinned. But you've got a nice flat edge to lie it on, so just cut it across. Now take a flat end and lie it down. And then cut. Just always think of when you're doing vegetables like this, you cut them in one direction, you turn them 45 degrees, and cut across what you just cut. So I'm going to cut these strips, then I'm going to turn it, quarter turn, cut across for nice dice, and then the ends, again, cut, cut strips, turn it, cut across. Strips, and cut across. And then if I want a, a, a more finely chopped, you don't have to be, you're going to cook this anyway, so you don't have to be real neat about even pieces. So, lie it on a flat.
flat side, cut strips, then take another flat side to lie down to steady it. I always take this rounded end off because I find it easier to work with that separately. Strips, turn across the strips. Strips, across the strips. Always keep your knuckles bent so you don't cut your fingertips. There we go.